Good morning, beautiful people. I just wanted to share with you my morning routine for self-care. So you see, I'm out here. I got my rebounder, so I'll jump on that for five minutes. But before I even do all that, what I started my day with was prayer and scripture. Um, just meditating on that and journaling. Um, if I feel I need to get something out, I'll write in my journal. This is a beautiful journal my dear friend gave me for my birthday. Um, but so... Uh, I will do prayer and, like I said, journaling and scripture reading. Then I'll do self-care. I'll come out here and do like just a real simple resistance routine, like with push-ups and um, core workout. I'll do toe raises here on my, my deck steps. I'll go sit in the sauna um, for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, but man, starting with that prayer and spiritual just that that prayer and that um spiritual connection is what gives me the strength to make it through a day this day didn't start out the way i was planning you hear these birds it sounds so beautiful the day didn't start out the way i planned i was going to get up i was going to sit in a sauna we had a we're blessed to put a sauna in our house i was going to sit in the sauna but things didn't go that way because i had to help my daughter with something instead before she went to school so um but because i had started the day um in my prayer closet and with this with the word in my heart it didn't throw me off i didn't get irritated where as in the past if i just would have slept in and hadn't done that i would have been very very frustrated and like oh i was walking down to the sauna and then she needed me to do this and but it, i didn't feel that way i said you know what lord this is you've made me a steward over her I'm going to go take care of her and be calm and patient and kind and loving and gentle the way you are with me because <laughs> Lord knows he's patient with me. So anyway, this is my self-care in the morning. Another thing is I always start with water. Um, and so I have my little my little water bottle. I usually drink about, about um, one to two bottles of water. I was doing three before, but felt like maybe that was too much water in the morning. So now I do about one to two bottles of water in the morning. And just hydrate and um, and just try to be thankful for the day. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you all. And I pray that your day is off to a wonderful start. And oh, this bless, um, this, this scripture that I love, this is like my theme scripture, is Romans 12, 12, y'all, right here. Um, rejoicing in hope, patient in affliction. Or it says patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Other translations say, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. And that is one of my favorite scriptures and like my theme for, for this year of my life is just like, be joyful in the hope of Christ and salvation and eternity with him, but also joyful in the hope of the promises that he's promised us. He's promised that he'll never leave us and never forsake us. He'll always be with us. He'll uphold us with his righteous right hand. He tells us to be strong and courageous because he's with us. And so those are some of the other things we can be hopeful about. And whenever you're feeling affliction, remember that he chastens and corrects those that he loves. And so just understand that that's his love for you. Um, that he's correcting you if he's convicting you in something so be patient in affliction and then faithful in prayer when you're struggling be faithful and pray pray all the time pray without ceasing like first thessalonians um, 5 17 says pray without ceasing because we need him so that's what i've just been trying to do another scripture that really sticks out to me is submit yourselves into god resist the devil and he will flee and when i tell you I can feel when that spirit lifts, if something's attacking me, if it's spiritual warfare, because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, y'all. We know that. That's in Ephesians 6. But I can feel it leave when I just submit to God and resist him. I can literally feel whatever thing I'm fighting in my flesh or fighting it's spiritual, you know, the enemy likes to attach to whatever we're weak in in our flesh. So whenever I feel that, I just, if I, if I submit to God, then I feel so much stronger um, and am able to make it through because we wrestle not against flesh and blood but if we if we mortify the deeds of the body with this through the spirit then that is life and peace and so that's another scripture that I love uh, I think that's in Romans um, but anyway so I just wanted to let you all know how I start my day just for self-care the biggest thing is to um, get my heart posture towards towards 
where my help comes from and it comes from above right <laughs> so I have my heart that way thinking on things that are spiritual not the flesh and um, then that helps me deal with the things of this world um, another thing that I did yesterday and I think I'll do today is actually did do some grounding where I just took my shoes off and just kind of connected um, just walked on this on this pavement here some people can walk in the grass if you don't have chemicals on your grass so keep that in mind um, so anyway just grounding and getting um, getting that connected to the positive what we need from the earth because all this rubber and all this stuff you know it's just it disconnects us from just physically what our body might need so I just I did that yesterday and getting outside in nature so I getting out getting the fresh air getting some sunlight, even though it's kind of cloudy today, still getting some sunlight. So anyway, I pray that you all are doing well. Take care. God bless. I'm Tamako Lene.